It's like killing the messenger, forgetting about the message, right? That is the state of education in the Western world. We have been dumbed down to a level where majority of the people that are following politics have become good little serfs that abide by lies and forego their right to live as free human beings. It's insane. Right. Da, 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 da. Uh, right. I mean, the news for uh, for most Western countries is controlled by a couple of billionaires. What's not to understand what's going on? They control the narrative. The problem is, Riot, those same institutions or individuals or organizations that control 90% of the news, they don't publish everything under the same news, right? They don't say our propaganda newspaper. They call it the New York Times or the Washington Post or the Foreign uh, Policy or this or that or this. And a lot of those institutions actually own local newspapers as well. So the local newspaper uh, industry has died down the last 20 years in a big way, right? So the same news that's being propagated, propagated up here is also being disseminated to the local news. So the only way that people are informed about what's going on in the world if, is if they actively seek out news. But our centralized education system has trained people to be passive consumers of information, right? It's passive education, what we have right now in our centralized education system. So with that programming for 12 years of childhood and youth, people have graduated into the same mindset that that is exactly the same way they should be consuming news, a passive form of news consumption, which is basically called willingly becoming a serf, willingly submitting to power to program you, to brainwash you, to be a tool in their grand design, right? Very unfortunate. It is very difficult to reprogram people that are adults um, than it is to program them with the, or installing the right type of programming in their youth. Because when they're adults, they already have that programming installed on them. So what you have to do to a certain degree is wipe that programming away or take out some of that code and reinstall certain proper codes in there so they can function as true human beings, right? Very difficult to do, right? So the ideal way to do things is start educating them when they're younger, right? Start engaging the youth because they are much more intelligent than what society deems them to be. I actually find it easier to reprogram myself now as an adult. Reprogramming yourself, Bixie, much easier, so much faster. But just imagine what you had to go through to realize that your programming was flawed. It's that initial realization, all of a sudden reality hits people where they go, wow, right? Half their lies has been a lie right most people have no idea how to deal with that they really don't oh yeah and that's exactly what's going on here local news is flooded with either facebook style articles meant to incite or national news that avoids any of the fuckery going on uh, at the local level and it's all run by the same people yeah amigo sen silo how are you doing even though it should be about the individual to learn as much as they can aren't we all the whim of the adults around us as we're growing up to a certain degree yes yes but a lot of adults have forfeited their right or their obligation to educate their children right as krishna krishna morty said and we did a reading of this education and the significance of life that krishna morty's thesis here let me bring that up as well uh, chicho education here's a reading of excerpts of krishna morty's education and the significance of life yes, okay in this book short book and i highly recommend reading it if you're 
uh, if you want to appreciate our current education system there's one thing that it continuously states which is we do not love our children oh hannah i'm gonna allow that did it come through hannah yes it did nice um basically he states in this thesis okay education is significant life that we do not love our children because if we loved our children there's no way we would force them to go into a centralized education system where they're spending 12 years minimum of their lives six hours a day okay being indoctrinated programmed and having their curiosity crushed right very important 